Today I'm going to show you how to properly crop, edit, and export your video into HD format. So I have a screen recording and a webcam video in my timeline. And I'm going to start by cropping my canvas. So if you click the crop tool on the left hand side of your screen, you'll see something like this. Now you can change the size manually or you can use the measurements. You want to use the measurements. The size of an HD video is 1280 by 720. This is the standard size you see on HD videos on YouTube. Then just hit apply. Now you can manually resize your video to fit however you want inside your canvas. So if you want the full screen of your screen recording in your video, then you can just fit it into the little box and stretch it so it fits nicely. But if you only want a portion of your screen like I do, you can resize the video like this and cut off anything you don't want. I recommend not leaving any black space in your final video because it doesn't look very professional. And I'm going to leave this one small. Now it's best to do any cropping before you edit your video because otherwise you'll have to select multiple clips and it might disturb any of the work you've already done. So when you've completed the editing of your ScreenFlow document, the next step is exporting it. So ScreenFlow gives you an option to export directly to YouTube or you can export it to your computer. I prefer to export it to my computer first because it gives you a hard copy on your computer and it gives you more flexibility when you're uploading it to YouTube. Also, it gives you the option to upload it to other websites. So go to File in the top left hand corner and select Export. Choose where you'd like to save it and pick a final file name for your video. So you have many options when you're exporting your video. I'm going to be uploading this to YouTube later, so I'm going to choose Web High, and I'm going to scale by 100%. You want your video to be in HD, so when you select 100%, you want to make sure that the numbers that come up are 1280 by 720. And I'm also going to use Motion Blur. Then just hit Export. This may take a while, but the length of time really depends on how long your video is. So that's it for now. To learn more about using ScreenFlow, check out the links below.